Okay, so now I'm going to take a quick moment to backtrack a little bit so we can talk about this design aspect. So generally speaking, this would be something that you want to do before you actually start writing code, uh, presuming that you're going to be working on a much more complex GUI application, not necessarily something that you can do in, uh, what is that, roughly 20 to 40 lines of code. Uh, typically, this would be for applications that are going to require many different components, so a lot of different controls, a lot of different containers, something that could span hundreds, probably even thousands of lines of code, uh, something that's much more major, uh, something that you will not necessarily be expected to do uh, anytime soon, uh, but certainly something that you might expect to be able to do uh, in the not-so-distant future. So uh, this particular concept in the design phase of your GUI applications is going to be what are known as scene graphs. So as you probably noticed already with some of the naming conventions with certain classes in the JavaFX library, uh, many of your applications, or really all of them, are going to be using this uh, theater metaphor where we talk about a st uh, stage and a scene. So the stage is going to be the application window and then the scene is going to be the collection of GUI objects or controls. So those different controls are put into containers. From there, you're going to have essentially a top-level container, which holds all of the content for your application. And that top-level container, that's what needs to be uh, included as the, the scene. So the objects are going to be organized into what is known as a scene graph. This is going to be a tree-like, as you can see from this example right here, a tree-like hierarchical data structure that consists of a root node. That root node will be your, um, your top-level container. Uh, you'll then also have branch nodes, and you'll have leaf nodes. So the root node is the parent of all nodes in the scene graph. It's the top-level container. The branch nodes are going to uh, describe other containers uh, these will be additional nodes that can have other nodes as children. And then the leaf nodes are going to be anything that cannot have any children. Uh, these will describe your controls. So to give you an example of this, your HBox container, that could be the root node of the application if that's the top level container. Or if you have maybe one HBox container inside of another HBox container, then it could also be a branch node. Uh, whereas something like your label, which can't have any children because you can't put any other controls inside of a label control, that's going to be one of your leaf nodes. So uh, based on this design that we can see right here, and we've got our root node, our leaf nodes, and our branch nodes, I want to go ahead and take a moment to uh, just reconstruct that little bit of uh, our HBox and label that we saw with the, uh, the first scene application that we created in the previous video. So we're going to take a quick look at that as well. So for this first application where we created a scene inside of it, uh, there's only going to be two pieces of content that we're concerned with for our scene graph. So the first is going to be the container that we created, which is that HBox. And then the second is going to be the label that we put inside of that HBox. Uh, that's going to be that message label. So to get started on creating the scene graph for this, we're going to first create the root node. So we'll include one of these little ovals in our scene graph. And then inside of that, I'm going to go ahead and put in our HBox. So we'll go ahead and place that, that HBox inside of here. So this is going to represent the root node of our application. This will be the top level container that we put into our scene object. And then connected to that, we would have various branch or leaf nodes. In this case, we're just going to have a single leaf node, which is going to be for the message label that we put inside of our HBox. So we'll go ahead and create another one of these little ovals right here. And inside of this one, we'll go ahead and put in our message label and place that here. And you'll notice that for each one of the different pieces of my scene graph, the way that I'm specifying a particular node, so the name that I'm giving it, uh, matches up with the name that I gave it in the actual program itself. So I called the HBox, just HBox in all lowercase. I called the label message label. So whatever name that you give your different uh, layout containers and your different controls, 
that's typically the name that you also want to be using in your scene graph so that you can go ahead and keep that consistent. That way then you know precisely which components are going to go where. So another thing we can also go ahead and do in addition to creating the scene graph when we're going through this design phase, maybe we want to make sure that we actually understand visually where each of these elements are going to be placed. With just the scene graph, what we understand is the hierarchy, so we know what's going to be contained inside of what, and then based on the type of container that things are being placed in, we have a kind of general idea of what the structure of our program is going to look like, but maybe we want something that looks a bit more or is a bit closer to the way that the final product is going to look. So the other thing we could go ahead and do, in addition to the scene graph, is go ahead and provide a simple sketch of our application. So the way that I would approach this typically is essentially just making a series of boxes. So this very first largest box is going to be for the entire application window. And then inside of here, we'll go ahead and place a box for the HBox itself. So if we're dealing with an HBox, since this is typically used for a horizontal arrangement of content, I'm going to go ahead and do something that's very wide, but not very tall. So we could have, say, a single box inside of here. This could represent our HBox. And then inside of that HBox, we're going to put in our message label. Uh, if we're thinking about the positioning of this message, message label as well, uh, we know that we want to put this into the center of that HBox. So we'll go ahead and create another box inside of it. To represent the position of our label right here and then to specify what content is going to go here I'll go ahead and put that name in again so this way then I can actually look at this sketch that I've created and I know more or less where I'm going to position each one of the different elements or each one of the different controls of my GUI application okay so at this point this is going to complete everything that I want to talk about for scene graphs Going into the next video, we're going to go ahead and start taking a look at adding some additional content to our uh, GUI applications. So we've looked at how to add a label to it. In the next video, I want to take a look at adding images as well.